All right, guys, so behind me is the new Citroen C5X plug-in hybrid. And I also try to make interior, exterior. I try to show you all the details. I hope I can do that. Usually, nobody is allowed to go behind those curtains, I should say. But I will go for you guys, so come here with me. Let me show you the car. Before I go inside, I want to give you some technical data. I want to talk about which kind of car I have here and also the price. So the price of the car, the final price of the car, it's 59,290 francs. I will add the price in dollars so you can make an idea. But also the car come, for example, with panoramic glass roof that it's 1,500 high five sound system onboard charging 7.4 kilowatt 600 extra and then 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 let me show you 12 inch touchscreen display i will show you it's really interesting that comes standard those options here are standard led standard uh, also navigation standard anyway head up display as well comes standard in this shine pack the motor the engine the power that we have here is 225 ps 360 newton meters it comes with the eight speed automatic gearbox i think stellantis group uh, use it as well. Plug-in hybrid you can drive only in electric mode up to 55 km in VLTP. The weight of the car is kind of heavy, 1,856 kilograms, and the consumption is right here and 36 CO2. Really good. Let me make a tour around the car so you can see it a little bit better. I like very much the back of the car, the roof spoiler, the lights look just wonderful there. Uh, I love this design this new design of the lights look really much more interesting and i think citroen evolve a little bit in terms of design and i like uh, what they did with the car anyway let me go a little bit four door so you can see it a little bit better i like the coupe shape of the car it's really interesting it's a really long car actually to be honest and if you see right here, it's kind of a coupe shape. It's not so practical, but it's more sporty. I think they, they want to make it more sportier than practical. We will see also the space in the trunk in a second. But overall, it looks nice. Also, the front is kind of typical for Citroen as they use it also in other cars model. It's very typical. The hood look nice with those lines here. Really interesting. Then you have this front grill that it's typical for Citroen. You have a front camera right here. Not sure if it has 360 degrees camera, but I will check. Also, you have some air intakes here. And then down here, it comes with also a grill. Really interesting design on the grill. You have the radar for adaptive cruise control, emergency brake and all that safety features. Then you have the parking sensors right here and it comes with four parking sensors and then you have down here the fog lamps there are led lights that's something to keep in mind then here you have the led lights latest technology from citroen full led lights even the daylight even the turning signals it's led i will try to show you uh, as well in the video around the wheels you have this plastic to protect the wheels and the uh, edges of the uh, paint then in this angle the same story now in the front we have ventilated brake discs and if i'm not wrong those rims are 18 inch rims let me check i'm not sure 19 look at this 19 inch rims anyway look look really well also here on the side guys it comes with this hybrid writing so you know this is a plug-in hybrid i like although very much those mirrors guys glossy plastic mirrors led light on the side here also the leg here it's it's glossy plastic and it looks nice look modern yes the car come with 360 degrees camera because you have here another camera then here guys you have the mirror blind spot technology in the corner quite nice design on the mirror on the upper side of the windows you have a chrome design here between the windows you have this glossy plastic then you have this matte rubber uh, on the down part this is the handle simple handle close the door oh yeah i like that you can hear it good quality it sounds better than bmw ix it's really interesting plastic on the down part i like that very useful and also in the back the same story with this protection around the, the wheel right here in the back we have brake discs not ventilated discs just just normal discs and then here on the right side i have to open from the interior i will show you in a moment but let me finish with the exterior here and then i will go there then you can see they extend this plastic also in the back on the bumper right here you have some uh, light reflectors on the down port so as you can see right here we don't have any exhaust pipe visible as all the car manufacturers start to implement this 
parking sensors down here. You have LED lights on the number plate, reverse camera, Citroën logo here in the middle. Uh, one of my favorite part on the car is this spoiler down here. So the car come with somehow two spoilers, one on the upper side here, you can see the lines really interesting really sporty and aggressive and also you can see the air come inside there so it helps the, the downforce the drag of the car also the radio antenna the roof it's lovely and it looks a little bit very similar with opal astra i like that and the, the black tinted window this area here looks just splendid look at this chrome insertion between the windows you have this glossy plastic Look how nice they, they make this transition here. It, it looks really high quality. I like that. And the, this spoiler here, the lip spoiler up here, it's just lovely. Also LED light in the back here, I like that. Quite, quite good quality. Here's the charging port, on the other side is the tank. I was not sure about that. So to keep in mind the charging port, it's on the driver's side. Anyway, more technical data will come soon in the future videos. Now, this is the car, guys. Let me go inside. Let me show you the, the, the engine bay right now and then we will go to the trunk. Look at this, how easy you open this up. It's a manual lift gate in the front. Also the insulation up here, it's great, good quality. Very similar with Opel Astra, the new Opel Astra that I see it right now. And here is the engine guys, really. This is the array of the engine. Now, automatic lift gate, c fix here, logo on the side, whoa so big i didn't expect that it's really big here you can close the trunk you have a handle right here also you have this protection for the trunk that can, you can pull it like this i think usually it should stay like that yes this one will stay fixed up there but you can also take it out and i will take it out for you and i will show you how much space you have here but wow i mean it's so big i didn't expect that the entrance it's huge man and look at this look at from the side it's huge entrance i like it I didn't expect that when I see the size, the shape of the car. Then you have this chrome at the entrance here, metal, I like that. That gives you some inspiration from premium cars. Then you have the, uh, the handle to fold down the seats right here. You have a 12 volt port on the left side. I like that. I like those shiny uh, metals here under the floor. You have some small storage space as expected for a plug-in hybrid car. Uh, you have the speakers there. Also the hybrid system, a battery and tanks have to be somewhere. Now if you want to fold down the seats, just pull this up like this and you can do it in just one second. The seats are folding down, you have almost a flat floor there. Lovely. This is it. You can see right there, also you have a glass roof on the roof there. I like the white roof, I'm a fan of white roofs. So if someone hear me from the car manufacturers, uh, the white look gorgeous it's brighter inside the car it's just much better guys just use more white inside the car anyway look lovely i like it. it's it's super practical going on the side huge entrance oh my god it's so big really big entrance this is the door you have also some kind of rubber here they add a lot of rubber that's why the door sounds so good when you close it anyway check this out check it out one more time the trunk yeah, pretty nice, practical. Also, the quality here is not bad. Also, down there, you have almost no transmission tunnel. Surprisingly, look good. I like that. Great job, great job, Citroën. Put this back. Yeah, when you have to put it back, you have to put the seat belt as well. That's something that I wish was different, but look at this. On the other side, it stays in place. Lovely, good. Let me close the trunk. And I will go forward, super simple, closing the trunk. Going here on the door, I like the fact that even in the back you have a big door from one pieces, so that means great visibility. Soft material on the upper side, that's surprisingly, to be honest, I'm surprised, really good quality. Leather here in this area, perfect leather here. I like that handle, chrome design. You have a speaker, small speaker, big speaker, two speakers here. Then you have the button for electric windows, some storage space here. Big entrance, as I tell you before, and the typical classical seats from Citroën. I love them. They are super comfy and I know they work a lot on those seats for the comfort. 
they are so plushy and so soft and so nice as you touch it and you have uh, the Isofix for child, you can install two child seats and yeah, they look nice and also they come until here uh, on the edge, lovely. In the middle guys, of course, if you ask me, you have two cup holders, some leather, some storage space and also you can fold this middle part down. You can carry long items like skis and stuff like that. So, perfect. Behind the front seat, you have kind of a plastic, some storage space. And yeah, let me go inside the car. Going inside, oh, it's so soft. I like how soft it is here, it's lovely. Then you have some vents, two USB ports, some storage space down there. I like the transmission tunnel, it's like five centimeters. Super, super small. You have some LED lights that they are not working right now. I think I have to put a contact. Handle, white roof very good quality the roof is kind of in the middle quality let me close the door let me hear a little bit yeah the sound insulation i cannot test it because the window in the front is open but i think it's good it should be good five four fingers i like it uh, i have a nice position here good visibility also you have a small window there good visibility outside in terms of legs you have perfect visibility right here and we have light rail that's great and I can stretch my legs under the front seat. It's really nice. I like it. Let's go in the middle. Going in the middle here. Very simple. A lot of space on my knees. Plenty of space on my knees, actually. And on my head, uh, let's, I think three fingers here. I can stretch my hand completely. Stretch my hand completely. Look at this. Plenty of space for three people. It's a little bit stiffer in the middle, but it's okay. I think you can stay also. Uh, at long trips here in the middle. Anyway, the glass roof look lovely. I will try to open it up. And also we have this protection that it's manual. You can pull it manually here. We will go in the front. I will show you the dashboard. We will talk about the things right there in the front. Yeah, let me go there, guys. All right, guys, going in the front. Here you have a big window from one pieces. Then going to the door, the same good quality on the doors right here as in the back. Then you have this trim level, kind of a woodish trim level that looks interesting. Chrome design stitches, leather here in this area, leather uh, handle here. You can open uh, the doors. You have the electric buttons for the windows, electric adjustable mirrors, storage space here, and another speaker. Good, at the entrance you have the Citroen logo on this plate. Aluminum pedals, the same pedals that Peugeot use it as well. You can see the seats one more time. The seats are very similar. Actually, they are the same seats as C4 use it and they are incredible good. I test drive the car, I, I use the car and those seats are phenomenal. Really, they add some extra foam, 50 millimeter foam. So they make it much more comfortable over the bumps and no more vibration. Then you have two position to save the seats, electric adjustable seats from here. You can adjust it very simple. Going forward here, you have the lights position. You have hit steering wheel, open the, the tank and open the trunk. The same trim level here as you have it on the door. You have the, the vents, also typical for Citroen. Uh, nice design here. Also soft material on the dash. I like that, really cool. Let me go inside the car. Oh man, when I sit on those seats, I tell you guys, they are, they are super, super comfy. Oh my God. One of the best seats on the market, I tell you. They, they did a great job with the seats. Great visibility around the windows. Look at this. Sorry guys, I make the video really fast uh, because I don't have so much time. Here in the middle you have soft material stitches you can open this up plenty of storage space for your phone usb uh, port there some storage space here some stitches and soft material on the side um, electronic handbrake different driving modes by the way here's the start engine button if i go forward a little bit ah uh, why is that come on man give me some power man skip this Okay, good, not bad. Now here you can change the different driving modes and uh, then you have the shift by wire transmission. You can change the gear, super nice, I love it. Then you have the parking and the B mode where the car will regenerate more energy. Two cup holders, glossy plastic in the middle, very typical for uh, Peugeot in the last years. Some storage space right here in the front and then look at this big space where you can put your phone you have an led light and also you can charge your phone wireless right there usb port then you have a 12 volt port right here i like that 
Then you have the climatic system guys in the middle. We can put it on auto, you can change the different uh, menus and functions right here on the climatic system. Super simple, you have physical buttons and also um, they are they are very easy to use. Anyway, going forward, this is the glow box. Press the button, huge glow box, a lot of space, some LED light there. This is the key, by the way, if you're wondering, it's the same key as Peugeot use it. Uh, also, nice design on the dash here. Lovely design. I love the dash. I mean, it's, it's simple. It's perfect, and you have a great visibility. This screen here, I tell you, it's so big so big this this screen it's it's huge and this is the new multimedia system from citroen i will make a separate video with it and i will present you guys uh let me go forward now also uh you have a speaker here on the a pillar you have handle good quality on the roof also here two led lights and the mirror gorgeous then you have also the possibility to open the the glass from here you can open it completely if i still have battery look at this oh yeah Look at this, perfect, huh? I like that, let me close it back. Lovely, the mirror, it's also nice up here. You have a quite okay visibility in the back there. Um, and then the steering wheel, classic for, for Citroen. I like the shape of it, it's nice, it's small, it's simple to use. You have the pedals to change the gear if you want to manually. Then you have the controls for the cruise control. We will talk about that in the test drive video. And here on the right side, you have the controller for the multimedia system. The cockpit, this is the cockpit. There you can change the different information, different views. And yeah, it's nice. It's digital cockpit. It's not the best in the world, but it's still uh, good. I will go deep in this uh, cockpit and in this multimedia and all that uh, functions when I will have the car for a longer time. Here you have two physical buttons. One is home and one is car. When you press the car button here, it will get you to the functions, uh, safety features of the car panoramic camera lane keeping assist uh, you have all the functions right here uh, with all that safety features lane assist traction control speed limit traffic sign recorder uh, tutorial here you have some videos uh, it's the same multimedia system that new Peugeot 308 use it I have a video separate video about it so check it out on my channel it's already there guys um, great now if you go to home you have this new uh, navigation system that it's kind of 3d it's it's really good it's much more responsive than it was before and i like that very much now the car it's kind of a prototype it's not it doesn't have the full software so they will improve it in the future even more it's just kind of an example uh what we have here also on the right side here's kind of the main menu and on the left side you have all kind of information you have the media you have the wireless you have the radio station you have the seats settings here massage you have even massage on your seats you go back here go back to home and you have the settings here are all the settings of the car customizable settings screen colors exterior animation interior animation audio here you have all the settings from audio and you have the vehicle access vehicle lights doors safety features updates connection service brightness languages you can change the language from here connectivity customize and profile you can add your your own profile right there then you have the application drawer where you have all the most important application and here you can see for example the energy flow you go to energy and you have a nice graphic when the car will drive you have the statistics here about the driving and about the car the charging the e-safe mode it's really nice really interesting uh, going back to home then going back to application drawer oh wait a second back to application drawer and here you have also a lot climatic system for example you can have it on your screen so you can change from here different information about climatic system go back okay i have to start it again this is the save mode by the way guys it goes to save mode go back to home application drawer where were i the phone the navigation the media by the way you can connect also your car to android auto and apple carplay and all that um great great functions and wireless you can do it wireless keep this in mind i also show you in the other video uh, from here mirroring screen so you can see uh, you can connect your device check out the other video i have a separate video where you can connect this 
it's already on my channel. Navigation, phone, climatics, ADAS here, when, when you go to ADAS, it's all that safety features. And yeah, this is the, the, the navigation. This is a multimedia, guys. If you want to go more deep in details, uh, check out my other video there. I show you a little bit more. So overall, this is the car, guys. I think I show you almost everything on the car. I don't know if I missed something, maybe the driving mode. From here, you can change the driving modes, as I said before, guys. So you can go to to echo normal and sport mode so from here you can change the driving modes very very simple also led lights in the front we will go deep in those those details uh in the next videos anyway until next time guys i hope you enjoyed the video it was fast so sorry about that uh, sorry if I missed something or the video was not good. Don't be so critical because I try my best and it's very hard to do it with so many people here in the uh, showroom. It's it's hard, but I will have a separate video soon. Thank you for watching. Click the subscribe button to see the newest cars. Will come some interesting cars next days. Thank you for watching. Stay safe and I see you soon in the next one. Bye guys.